The gun controllers in California are in trouble, and this is great. Guys and gals, if you think the Second Amendment is more important than a governor's ability to try to put monetary fees in the way of people getting their rights back or stopping the government from being tyrannical, then subscribe to this channel down below. This is where you'll get Second Amendment news every single day. I am Jared, the host of Guns and Gadgets, and I'm here to tell you what happened yesterday. Uh, SB 1327 in California is something we've talked about a few times. The layman summary of this case is Gavin Newsom took uh, Texas's abortion law, contorted it and bastardized it so that it would work for California's benefit related to lawsuits against California it related to the Second Amendment. So if you wanted to sue California for an infringement on the Second Amendment, you had to win every facet of your lawsuit Otherwise, you would be liable for not only paying your attorney uh, all of the fees and dues and whatever is uh, related to your case, you'd have to pay California's attorneys as well. And a few cases have been dismissed because of this. Well, the CRPA, the California Rifle and Pistol Association, and others have been challenging SB 1327. And what happened yesterday is glorious. I've never seen it happen in my life. Attorney General Bonta in California you know his name from everything, Miller v. Bonta, Rody v. Bonta. Well, those cases, the big cases in California that we're waiting to hear about because the Supreme Court sent them back, they granted certiorari, they vacated the anti-gun decisions, and they remanded them back to the states. Well, those cases have been on hold for a second, paused because of this 1327. Because if you lose a case and it's going all the way to the Supreme Court, you could spend not only millions of dollars on your defense, your, your lawsuit, but you'd have to spend possibly millions of dollars compensating California. Well, I did tell you uh, last week, I believe it was, that the case took a turn against California because uh, Rob Bonta, the Attorney General of California, in the case in Texas, submitted an amicus brief saying, you can't do this, you can't uh, have these uh, fees imposed against people who are trying to fight the system because it's unconstitutional. Well, in this case in California, they turned that against him, used his own words against him, said, whoa, you said it's unconstitutional in Texas, yet you want to do it in California. It's unconstitutional. Well, yesterday, Rob Bonta decided, you know what, I can't defend this. I, I'm backing out. I'm not going to defend this case anymore because it's unconstitutional, right? However, Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, this is his baby. He's the one who created this. He did a whole bunch of videos and, and uh, interviews and pomp and circumstance about this is what we're going to do to keep Californians safe. It's all about safety. Well, he has submitted a, a notice to the court. He wants to intervene. He wants his attorneys in the, in the governor's office to defend California's SB 1327. And there's a question right now that came out yesterday. The attorney general's job is to defend laws or challenge uh, people in court, right? The governor's office doesn't have that ability. So does the governor have the ability to step in for the attorney general and take over? Well, I guess it waits, we wait to see if that happens uh, because I know it's being challenged by CRPA saying he doesn't have the ability to do this. And there's a lot riding on this case. It's taking place down in San Diego. And uh, there are other states that want to mimic what California is doing. So as this case goes, and hopefully as this SB 1327, this law, gets destroyed, then it will kind of stop some of the other states from following California's role. You can kind of see what's going on. California is following some of the things that New York did, but they created some of their own. Delaware is going to copy them, and New Jersey is going to copy some. That's how it goes, guys and gals. Not just in the anti-gun world, but in the tyrannical world. Ooh, they're getting away with that. We should too. This is big. Support those who support you. This needs to, this, we need to win this case. We absolutely need to win this case. And I believe it is obtainable, very obtainable. We just have to see what happens here. Are they going to let the governor's office take over when the governor's office isn't for this? We'll see. Guys and gals, what do you think down below? If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. This is where you'll get Second Amendment news on the daily. By subscribing to this channel, by liking the videos, by sharing the videos, it absolutely helps these videos and this news, this truth, get through the anti-gun algorithm. We know the shadow bans are real because it was just exposed on Twitter. And if you don't think it's happening to this channel and those like it, 
then, then you must be living under a rock. So help us all help each other out and like, subscribe, share, comment. And until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. That's what it's all about. It doesn't matter what Nancy Pelosi or Gavin Newsom or Rob Bonta or insert tyrant's name here. It's not going anywhere. Take care, y'all. Thank you.